Unlike most characters in Nick All-Star Brawl, Danny Phantom really thrives at the early percents, with a ton of combos that kill extremely early. But to balance this, he tends to struggle at high percents, and isn't amazing in juggle scenarios. So in this video, we're going to break down Danny Phantom's moveset and the simple bread and butter combos. Starting on the ground, let's look at light down. At low percents, you can combo into three light up airs. Light up air in particular is going to be extremely relevant throughout the video, but we'll touch on it later. Additionally, you can go for two light neutral airs. Light down air is also true, but doesn't lead into much, since your opponent will always have the option to tech. Though if you want to kill really early, go for two light up airs into a heavy up air. The timing for the heavy up air is really tight, but is extremely devastating when it works. At mid percents, go for two light up airs, or a light up air into a heavy up air as a mix up. Light up is unfortunately not great for combos, as not a lot is guaranteed if they DI, but you can go for light up airs at low percents. Similar to other characters, light dash attack is extremely good for combos since you can cancel it into whatever you want. At low percents, cancel it into a heavy down, then two light up airs before killing with a heavy up air. If you're having trouble with this combo, a simple heavy attack will also work. At mid percents, go for a heavy mid. This will close out the stock at the ledge, though if you're at mid stage, light up is preferred since you can combo it into a light up air. At high percents, combo into a heavy for a kill. Heavy dash attack is also solid, generally leading to the same confirms as light dash attack. Though at mid percents you can combo straight into a light up air, then a heavy up air for a kill. Moving on, let's look at light neutral air. Unfortunately the base knockback is really high, which definitely hurts the combo potential. Though we can get around this with the help of air dashing down, which acts like the pseudo fastfall in the smash games. At low percents, go for a light neutral air, air dash down as quickly as you can, then go for two light up airs into a heavy up air for a kill. The air dash timing is tight but can take the stock extremely early. Oh, what a hit. If you're uncomfortable with air dash timing, you can do a triple light neutral air combo instead. Next up is light up air, arguably Danny Phantom's best move. It covers a lot of ground and is very hard to punish when you combine it with air dash down. At low percents, go for a rising light up air, air dash down, into two light up airs, then a heavy up air for a kill. Without air dash, the combo still works. The only difference is you must do a landing light up air. At mid percents, go for two light up airs. Though if they're at the ledge, go for light down airs and follow them down. Light down air is also great against grounded opponents, where they don't have the ability to tech. At low percents, go for two light up airs into a heavy up air for a kill. At mid percents, you could connect a light up air into a light neutral air. Though if you're feeling fancy, light down air, then go for a fast fall neutral special into a heavy up air for a kill. Moving on to specials, let's look at neutral special. Unfortunately, the projectile moves too fast for Danny Phantom to reliably combo off of it traditionally. In order to combo, you'll have to shoot it at point blank range and fast fall, which can then lead into the death combos mentioned earlier. Though in the right time and right place, it can be used to set up a jab lock, typically leading to a heavy punish. Last up are Danny's throws, which are underwhelming in comparison to the Smash series, but are very much on par in this game. The best you can go for is an up throw into light up airs at low percents. Well, that covers everything for this Danny Phantom combo guide. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something useful. If you did, definitely consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Nick All-Star Brawl content. If there's a character you'd like to see a guide on, leave a comment and let us know. All this information and more is available on our app with up-to-date character pages featuring the best guides from your favorite content creators. This is Not Bay from Love of the Fight, and thank you for watching.